some quick answers from you. There's so many people that take cabs every day. Right. That's their, their means of transportation. Right. And you have different people every day. You don't you necessarily have the same person every day. So I guess that, that's like the best um, advertisement you could get for Peace Taxi. But, but what, what have the taxi drivers been saying to you? Oh, they, have, they love it. They love it? Yeah, they love it. Good. Even the one you put it in the taxi is uh, 184. Which one? I don't remember. 184, Francis. Francis. He's the hanging on the front there? Yes. And yes. he said it's, uh, since you put it there, he's making more money. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's a good luck. Part. I hope that uh, this project will uh, give a little more uh, enlightenment to uh, people. At the end, uh, people will realize that, that uh, other people, like uh, immigrants, are people too. <laughs> Racism is out of uh, this business. Do you feel safe while you're driving your taxi? Oh, I feel safe all yeah. the time. It's not safe. All the time. And why is that? Why? Because personally, I don't have anything in my heart okay. against anyone. Because my life is at risk at any time. Okay, why is that? Yeah, because with customers, yeah. it's, they are unknown to me. The attitude right. is the most important thing. Right. Some may show some bad attitude, some good attitude, but it's up to you, yes. the driver, to have the patience to accommodate all those attitudes. Yeah, they told me about regular problems. Somebody pulled a gun on them, somebody pulled a knife, took their money. Right. A female driver, a female passenger punched a male driver. Yeah. So in that case, a male driver would want to hit her back, but he can. The right. law comes in. But then again, they don't go to the police because they're saying it's a waste of time. They don't want to lose money. They want to make money. If they go to police, they're saying they're going to be wasting their time. So just they, they take it as a minor incident. The more that these cases are unreported, the more easier it is for systemic discrimination and racism to keep occurring. Or the police are... They, they, they don't consider the drivers at all. They, they are not helpful to us anyway. It's a small thing, they will just give you a ticket anyway. As I told you, everybody has the awareness of this, what's going on in the world, why the innocent people are killing everywhere. I think only the religion can, can bring the peace also if we follow right religion. Because if we have a brotherhood, right. if I respect this guy, right. he's a Christian, if I respect that guy, right. he's another religion, right. that will be peace. Which part? Of the world you come from. Okay. If someone might see you from maybe you from the Middle East. Yeah. Maybe they would treat you different. Right. Maybe see people may see you from uh, a different part of the world may treat you different. Right. So I think it got something to do with it. Right. And do you think that it's more held now than it was before? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe when your name comes out to be like a Mohammed or something, right. that would be different. Right. Right. When your name comes up, a d different name, right. probably it would be different. So if Mohammed was say, a, a, ta a fellow taxi driver <laughs> that you were friends with, That's let's say, right? Do you feel threatened for him? Do you think that people will affect him and harm him or no? No, not in this country, for sure, not in this country. No? No. Okay. People doesn't do that, right. for sure. Racism mm -hmm. has gone to its highest point okay. after September 11. Okay. One, especially with Asian people. Mm -hmm. Most people, what they mean, try to board uh, a cab owned or driven by Asian people. Is there, when uh, September 11th happened, was there a misrepresentation of Sikh people in the media? Do you find that? No, not I don't know. I can't really really I don't think so. Cause I think more yeah, there is there could be because people that don't know Sikhs, right? People yeah. that wear turban. Yeah. Most of the people don't know. Most of the people just see turban, they think he's in Afghanistan, he's from Afghanistan, he's a terrorist, but they don't know the religion itself. Right. In order for people to understand they gotta know the religion first, then they gotta go after the people. Right. There have been nineteen Pakistani men who have been arrested and put in detention due to the fact that they were assumed to be terrorists or criminals. This is problematic because without any sort of proof of notion that they are guilty of any crime, they were arrested and held under custody. It's to, I, I, in downtown, I was lining up. When I came, it's gone. Oh, really? Yeah. So then do you think that it was successful to have it in your car? Yeah, it was very successful. I like it. Right. I was very proud of it. Right. Yeah, I was very, very proud of it, you know. And people were even asking me questions. Right. Yeah, and I was trying to explain to them. There may be a danger in um, having these pieces because they could be destroyed or damaged, which did happen with some of the pieces that were in the taxi.
There was a ceiling painted on this cab, but it's no longer there today. And that's less than 24 hours after we initially installed it. Canada is a place for everybody. Mm -hmm. If I make a living, back home is home. Right. I have a place to go and enjoy. Right. I, as this my age, when I make money tomorrow, I go back. Right. I don't have to spend my life here right. for good. No way. Okay. Do you have any children? Can I ask you? No? Sure, I have, to. Yeah. I have. I have two beautiful girls. And are they here with yeah, you? Yeah, they are here. And yeah. how do you feel about them growing up in Toronto? Like, do you feel like they're safe? They don't really experience racism? Or mm. do you feel like there's a little bit sometimes different things that happen? Oh, at this age, they, are, they don't know anything about that yet. No, no I'm not saying them are. themselves, <laughs> but I'm saying society in general. Oh, I have to teach them about all these kind of people. Right. Like, because no matter what, uh, no matter what, no matter where you go, you have some people who doesn't like the other people. They selected me and they told me that the immigration officer says we have thousand grounds to give you immigration. We like you like people. Because of you have to drive taxi or going for gas station, doing work for donor shop. I was thinking what they are saying is uh, truth. That you would get a job. Right? Yeah. I can get it up. Not only myself, thousands of people have the same problem nowadays. You check the newspapers, are all different communities. Right. Yeah. Because whenever, if I, I know that before, how can I come here? Right. I never decide to come here. I follow that UNO certificate that Canada is a heaven in the world to stay here. So this is the heaven. 12 hours we are sitting in the sunlight. Yeah, you, 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 you and uh, for three months, like the uh, rest of the time in the snow. Yeah. The National Post. Uh, uh, he was mentioning that uh, it's not a usual arts arts uh, show or opening or a show art show opening. Uh, idea of, uh, of uh, art show opening is uh, city folks uh, strolling about with uh, munching on canopies. She didn't say uh, uh, drinking booze, but like <laughs> that was a general idea. She was out to, uh, I don't know, make a mockery of the whole, whole show. This project um, has brought to light these issues and hopefully we'll continue, to, we will all continue to talk on a level where these issues can be dealt with because this lies at the root of many communities, many individuals, many institutions, and uh, just in relationships of people such as taxi drivers and their passengers. Looking out the door is pushing and time goes quick too. You're doing your board. See? That's it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you folks.